here's how you can add Shopify countdown timer on password page. So this is a full tutorial, a step-by-step -step method on how you can add a Shopify countdown timer on the password page. So yeah, make sure you watch this video till the end to exactly find out how you can add a timer to your password page. So as you can see, I'm here in the Shopify main dashboard tab. And as you can see, I'm here right now and I'm going to exactly show you how you can do that. So first of all, just go to add apps. All right. Once you press on add apps, as you can see, there are many apps right over here. So we don't need any of them. You, when you when you're up, just scroll down and you'll find find more apps in the app store. So that's basically Shopify's official app store. So just press Shopify app store. All right. So it's going to take us over there. It's loading for now. So as you can see, I'm here in the Shopify app store. So what you have to do after that is just search up, search up section. All right. Store. So once you search up sec section store, you'll see section store team sections. Just press on it. All right. So as you can see, I'm here at this main uh, 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 section store team sections. So what you have to do after that is just press install. So once you press install, as you can see, it's now doing its process and redirecting me to the official website. Again, we're here at the Shopify website and as you can see, it's about to link to my own Shopify store. And here, as you can see, section store with my super gaming. So I'm just going to press install app. So once I press this, uh, as you can see, it's again doing its process. And here we go. We're officially inside section store. So as you can see, it's telling me a better way to customize. All right, we know, we know that. So we just explore sections. All right. Once you do that, as you can see, I see a lot of um, uh, like uh, stuff right over here. So these are basically the most popular uh, used uh, uh, like themes and stuff like that. Like, you know, like other widgets that you can use on your password page and other pages. So we're basically here for a countdown timer. So you can find countdown timer right over here, as you can see countdown timer once you press this and as you can see you get four timers right over here so none of them are free but i know a free countdown timer that you can actually use so what you have to do is just go again to popular and search for sections just search up countdown timer and just search it up This is gonna search up countdown timer. And as you can see, we got this countdown timer. As it's for is for free, but it's called counter basically, but it works the same. So what you have to do is get it, press it, and as you can see, it's saying get free section. So this is the free one, other otherwise there are other that are paid. In here, as you can see. The all are for nine dollars, but this one is for free. But like, if you are interested on getting other ones, you could just basically buy them, and the process is same as I'm showing in this video. Just press get free section. All right. So as you can see, uh, it's added in my section, and as you can see, it's showing counter right over here. So what you have to do, just press add to team, and as you can see, it will show all the teams that you have. I have done right now. I'm just gonna press done. And it says successfully installed. So once you have installed it, just just go back to the sections and explore sections. And you just have to make sure that uh, you have correctly added uh, add. And if you want to add more, you could just basically go ahead and purchase one or get one for free. But we got our uh, counter uh, slash content timer. So once you got that, just go back to your online store. All right. So here, as I show you all, I into installed it in Dawn and I have current theme as of my Dawn. So just press customize. All right. Once you press customize. And as you can see, we're here. Just going to go to the password. Search a password. And here we go. So once you're here, just press add section. 
and down here you will see SS counter. So you'll see all the options right over here, just like featured collection, feature product, collection list. But just go down and you'll see the SS counter option. So yeah, this is basically our section store. And as you can see, this is the exactly same counter that we installed. And if you had the other counter, it will basically show over here. So what you have to do is just press it. All right. And as you can see, we got it. We're just going to bring it in on top. And as you can see, it's looking very good. And we can bring it anywhere in the top to down and wherever we want. And then in the top, it's looking, um, let us go down and, and down, down it was looking good. So here you can customize it however you want. So once you click on it, as you can see, you can put in the heading. Let's just put in, um, We gave it a heading, all right? You can use custom font too if you want to. It's up to you. Then we got heading font family. So you can change the heading font family as you can see. We can put in whatever we want. So as you can see, it's changing from here. And I think this one's looking the best. I don't want to change it because it's looking so good. But if you want to change it, you can change it from right over here. And after that, you got your heading size. You can change the heading size to how much you want. It can go up to 72 PX and go down to zero. We don't want that. We just want to go for 46. That's average size. And then we got for our mobile. Just let's check in on our mobile. Let's make it smaller. All right. Yeah, I guess, I guess it, it looks good as well as smaller. Or you could just go for a bigger, but yeah, it looks good in zero PX. Let's just give it a some more and a six. And then we got the headline height. So you can uh, put how however height you want. It's up to you. You want to make it smaller, you can. And then you got the option of heading text align. You can put it on left, center, right, wherever you want. And this, that's basically all the customizations of like a, a countdown timer. You'll basically see the customizations. And in the end, you get the text. And you can just put up whatever text you want. And you can see. I can just change it to uh, however I like. I'm just going to change it to... percent best 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 for sale and you can use custom font here too and then again you can um, change the size however you want and then here you can add your own button you can change the button and as you can see it's shop now you can change it to buy now and as you all can see buy now and you can uh, put in a, a link like however you like then we got more options on that down and then we got section colors so you can change the section color too and as you can see you can change the background color so you get unlimited customizations with it and then in the end you get custom css so you don't want to uh, like do anything with it but yeah that that's basically it so yeah that's it on how you can add a shopify countdown timer or password page so yeah i hope i helped you guys out and this video was helpful so yeah Peace out until then. Goodbye.